<laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called for <clears throat> in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Yes, Donkey of the Day for Tuesday, January 19th goes to a Texas man named Guy Reffitt. Now, the only guy I acknowledge is Aaron Hall, Teddy Riley, and Damian Hall. Dropping the clues bombs for Guy, damn it. Okay? My guy, not the Guy Reffitt. Cut it off now. Now, the Guy Reffitt I'm talking about. Uh, let's talk about the act of terrorism that happened on Capitol Hill on January 6th. That is indeed the gift that keeps on giving the herpes that won't go away. It is what I call a Thanksgiving turkey. A Thanksgiving turkey is one of those stories that long after the day it happens, media is still eating off it. You know, after Thanksgiving, when there's a lot of turkey left over, so some people make sandwiches, some folks make casseroles, some people make soups in certain communities, broths, okay? That's what that terrorist attack, that attempted coup on the Capitol has done because every day is some new information that comes out that makes you say to yourself it's absolutely no reason that these treasonous unpatriotic traitors shouldn't be under the jail they don't care about me they don't care about you in fact they don't give a damn about their own families don't believe me well google guy ref it okay he is one of the many insurrectionists who should be facing at the least that minimum 10 year sentence that the soon to be celebrity in chief donald j trump says you get if you do damage to a federal building how did guy Reffitt get caught well the fbi asked for citizens to do their due diligence and and tell on these domestic terrorists and so guy's family did exactly what they were supposed to do but it's not that his family uh, told on him as getting him donkey of the day this morning. It's what he told his family when he found out they were telling on him. Let's go to KTVT CBS 11 for the report, please. FBI personnel arrested Guy Reffitt at his Wiley house on Saturday. They say he has affiliation with Texas Freedom Force, defined as a militia extremist group. The criminal claims against him include obstruction of justice and unlawful entry based on authorities using this video of Reffitt at the U.S. Capitol riot and the words from his own family. Authorities included in the arrest affidavit for Reffitt an accused threat he made to his children. Quote, if you turn me in, you're a traitor and you know what happens to traitors, they get shot. <laughs> What? Well, this is interesting. This is interesting. Interesting choice of words from Guy. It's interesting because on January 7th, the day after this terrorist attack happened, I came on this radio and I said verbatim, anywhere else on this planet, when it's an attempted coup and the coup doesn't work, they will line you up and shoot you on sight. Day of. Okay, the punishment for treason is death. Here in America, the punishment for treason is death. Uh, if not death, they, sh they shall be in prison for no less than five years. Now, I'm not the highest ranked player on Madden, nor am I the highest grade of weed in the dispensary. But I did some light research, and I read that only one person has ever been executed for treason against the federal government. A guy named William Bruce Mumford in 1862 was convicted of treason for tearing down the United States flag during the Civil War. He was hung after that. Okay, now in the UK, the last treason trial was that of William Joyce, a.k.a. Lord Ha Ha. I'm going to have to start using that one. It's going to be Lord Hee Haw for some of y'all. He was executed by hanging in 1946. So, yes, Guy Refford is right. Traitors die. So since that applies to your kids, shouldn't it apply to you as well? Fun fact, the UK passed something called the Crime and Disorder Act in 1998, so the maximum sentence for treason is life in prison. I'll take that. I'll take that for those people that stormed Capitol Hill. Okay, but I know, I know, y'all don't care about the UK. This is America. Well, I read this great article on theweek.com. It's from October 3rd, 2019, and it's titled A Brief History of Treason in the United States. And it says the history of actual treason in the sense of federal criminal prosecutions are remarkably short. And they are. Like since the ratification of the Constitution in 1789, there have been only 40 federal treason cases and far fewer convictions. But the ones I did find, they killed them folks for being traitors. Okay, uh, Philip Vigal and John Mitchell were convicted of treason and sentenced to death in 1794. John Brown was executed in 1859 for what they called treason against the Commonwealth of Virginia. But we all know his real crime was helping black folks. He was a slave uh, insurrectionist. So, yes, helping black people in 1859. Of course, this country thought she was a traitor. Joseph Smith was charged with treason by the governments of both Missouri and Illinois. He was killed by a mob in 1844. The moral of the story is, from what I can see, the punishment for treason is death. So Guy Reffitt is on to something. When he told his kids he would shoot them if they turned on him. His exact words. If you turn me in, you're a traitor. And you know what happens to traitors. Traitors get shot. I just sit here and I say to myself, why didn't Capitol Police 
have the same mentality? Why didn't the police on Capitol Hill have the same mentality? I sit here and I say to myself, why doesn't our government have that same mentality in regards to vanilla ISIS? Why doesn't our government have that same mentality in regards to the domestic terrorist organization called Al Cracker? All these questions are rhetorical. We already know the answers. All I want to know is, when do the execution start? Okay, if traitors get shot, who will be the first to get put in front of the firing squad? The answer is nobody. Because in their mind, what they did wasn't treason. Okay, it wasn't treason because this is their country. In their mind, this is America. The land where Caucasians rule everything around me. So don't think for one second that the powers that be didn't see themselves in those insurrectionists, okay? That's why Capitol Hill was an inside job, all right? Some of them helped because they believe in what those members of Vanilla ISIS were doing. But I still want people to listen to Guy Reffitt in regards to traitors. Traitors get shot, executed. I want the government to have the same energy for those domestic terrorists that Guy has for his children. But we know they won't. Please let Chelsea Handler give Guy Reffitt the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. That is way too much Dan Mayonnaise. Hi, right, Charlemagne. Thank you for that donkey of the day. Yes, indeed. All right, when we come back, we got the positive note, so don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.